everybody. Welcome. My name is Dr. Seema Campbell. For those of you who do not know me, naturopathic doctor here in Vancouver. And today we're going to go a little bit on nutrition for various different types of things. When it comes down to nutrition, we want to look at various different things, right? We want to look at either if you're an athlete or a general person, depending on who's in the room today, really you want to maximize your own uh, performance, potentially sure that we're properly hydrated, we're properly fueled during and after exercise, but also in anything that you're doing. No matter what you train, you want to train efficiently. And whatever you do, you want to provide yourself with energy. And everything will affect you though, your nutritional status, your age, your gender, where you are in your life. The whole premise of it, of nutrition itself, is to make sure that we have some type of connection between the, the mind and the body, so for a healthier mind and body, so that our resistance to illness will actually, all that lineage has some type of role to play in how your body is gonna be processing carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. But stress has an absolutely huge role to play, whether you're a man or you're a woman, that makes no difference. Every single one of us will handle stress completely differently. APOE gene is something that I do tests for, and the reason for that is, that will tell me how is your liver at actually metabolizing carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. If we want to lose weight, what do we do? Just cardio, 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 cardio. Not realizing that just cardio will actually break down muscle. Well, the ability to actually make cholesterol is gonna be that much higher, which means that there's certain, you know, carbs and fats and proteins that that body has to eat in order to make sure that that body's not actually making more cholesterol. So this whole nonsense about no carbs and all that stuff, that there's, there's something to be said about that, but at the same time, you will really wanna look at the complex carbs, and I'm gonna get into that. Dietary fat, again, you have to look at your own genetics. How, which type of fat is important for you? Are you someone that should actually have a bit higher fat intake, you know, in each meal? Or are you someone that needs a bit of a lower fat intake? Protein is something that is, I think, overutilized oftentimes. People think they need more protein than they actually.